Hello everyone, and thank you for tuning in to Stimulus Updates, your go-to channel for the most recent news and updates on various monetary and fiscal stimulus initiatives. Today, I am Alai, your host, and I am pleased to inform you of some exciting new developments that have occurred. Before we get into the updates for today, however, make sure that you click the box that says subscribe and that you enable the notification bell so that you are never left out of any information regarding stimulus-related topics. During these trying times, we are here to keep you informed and to give you the power to make decisions. All right, let's get right down to business. I am so excited to share with you today some groundbreaking news that is sure to shake up your financial world. You, the people who receive payments from Social Security, should get ready for a historic increase in amounts. In this case, I'm not talking about a simple increase. Rather, we're looking at the most significant annual increase in the past four decades. Imagine this, an additional $140 a month on average, a financial windfall that is expected to have an impact on the lives of approximately 70 million people across the country who are receiving Social Security benefits, including pensioners, disabled folks, and other recipients. Not only does this provide a boost to the economy, but it also provides a lifeline to those individuals who rely on Social Security as their sole source of cash flow. On the other hand, this is not a news flash regarding increasing the amount of time that Social Security is solvent. There is no need to worry, my dear friends. We have a plan. A plan that has the full approval of the President of the United States. And the greatest part is that it is completely paid for. Prepare to embark on an exciting voyage through the financial landscape, as Representative John Larson has thrown down the gauntlet, calling for major increases in Social Security benefits in 2024. Get ready to embark on this journey. Now, you might be a little bit suspicious, especially when you consider the lackluster increase in the cost of living adjustment for Social Security in 2024. A great number of older citizens are voicing their discontent arguing that these incremental advantages are not even close to being able to keep up with the unrelenting inflation that is afflicting our country. However, there is no need to be concerned because Representative Larson has returned to the scene supporting the cause by introducing the Social Security 2100 Act. Therefore, what exactly is the fuss about? There is more to this than just a suggestion for a superficial lift. Within the realm of Social Security benefits, the Social Security 2100 Act is a comprehensive game changer that aspires to revolutionize the landscape of the benefits system. Just for the first time in 52 years, imagine a 2% increase across the board. On the other hand, that is only the top of the iceberg. This act addresses a wide range of issues, including the enhancement of the cost of living adjustments, COLA and the guarantee that payments are updated to reflect the actual inflation that older citizens are experiencing. In any case, let's delve even further into the particulars. The strategy proposed by Representative Larson incorporates a strategic approach to improve the standards of living of people who receive Social Security benefits. The quality of life for elderly people, widows and children is more important than the amount because it is not simply about the number. For the first time in more than half a century, we are witnessing a significant increase that goes beyond merely making gestures of the highest possible importance. Beginning with the fundamentals, the Act proposes a 2% raise across the board for all Social Security beneficiaries, which is a step that has been anticipated for a very long time. Those who are dependent on Social Security as their primary source of income will receive actual relief as a result of this considerable raise, which is intended to correct the financial inequities that have existed for far too long. Of course, that is not all. The Social Security 2100 Act recognizes the urgent requirement to recalculate the cost of living adjustment, an acronym for cost of living adjustment. Seniors have expressed their concerns on the inadequacy of recent increases in cost of living adjustments, COLA in view of the rising rate of inflation. By ensuring that the cost of living adjustment, COLA, accurately represents the actual cost of living experienced by senior citizens, this act aims to remedy the problem and provide a more accurate and equitable adjustment. The Social Security Act adopts a comprehensive approach to benefit increases, 
taking into account the various requirements of those who receive Social Security benefits. This initiative recognizes the challenges faced by senior citizens with reduced incomes and seeks to enhance the advantages they get and improve their overall financial well-being. It is not only a matter of numbers, rather, it is about cultivating a community in which no elderly citizen is discriminated against. In the larger discourse, widows and widowers are sometimes forgotten. Nonetheless, this strategy provides a significant amount of relief for them. In recognition of the specific difficulties that these persons encounter in preserving their financial stability following the death of a spouse, the Act recommends enhancements to the benefits that are provided to them. Rather than merely being a financial adjustment, this is a demonstration of the dedication to provide assistance to individuals who are navigating the complications of widowhood. In recognition of the fact that children are an essential component of the Social Security equation, the focus has also been elevated to include the younger generation. An initiative that looks to the future would be to reinstate student benefits for dependent children of disabled or retired workers up to the age of 26 from their current age. It recognizes the changing nature of the educational and employment landscape, and it makes certain that young dependents are provided with sufficient support as they pursue their academic and professional goals. The emphasis is also directed towards grandparents and other relatives who are responsible for the care of children. In recognition of the significant contribution that extended family members make to the upbringing of children, the Act recommends an increase in the benefits that are accessible to children who are living with their grandparents or other relatives. In this way, we are taking a step towards the creation of a system that is more welcoming and friendly and that acknowledges the various family forms that are present in our society. In addition to that, the plan continues. It addresses concerns that have been plaguing public personnel for a long time and dives into the fine details of the regulations that govern Social Security. The Withdrawal Elimination Provision for the Windfall Elimination Provision, WEP and Government Pension Offset, GPO, is repealed by the Act, which provides much-needed relief for a large number of public officials who have been unfairly penalized in their Social Security benefits. At the same time, the Act recommends an extra 5% rise for the most senior citizens who have been receiving benefits for 15 years or longer. As they negotiate the later phases of life, our senior citizens encounter a particular set of obstacles, and this is a recognition of those challenges. A targeted increase is being implemented with the intention of providing additional support to individuals who have contributed to society over a lengthy period of time. The Act establishes carer credits, which are an important step to ensure that persons, particularly women, are not penalized in retirement for taking time out of the employment to care for their children or other dependents. This is especially important for women with children. A more equal and compassionate approach to retirement benefits is fostered as a result of this recognition of the unpaid labor that frequently rests on the shoulders of carers. The landscape of disability benefits is also undergoing a transition at the same time. It is proposed in the Act that the present cost of living adjustment, also known as CLI, be replaced with a gradual offset of earnings. This would address concerns and create a system that is more dynamic and responsive, namely one that can adapt to the changing requirements of disabled individuals. Of course, that is not all. It is the intention of this Act to rectify a fault in the structure of Social Security benefits that has not been reported. It recommends a correction to an unindexed fault in the way that Social Security benefits are wage-indexed, which would prevent beneficiaries from receiving a reduction in their benefits in the event that the wage index falls. Beneficiaries are safeguarded against unanticipated shifts in the economy because to the rigorous attention to detail that is provided. 